I'm excited to present results from the PANTHER trial uh, at the American Society of Hematology annual meeting in 2021. In that study, we randomized over 450 patients with higher risk myelodysplastic syndromes, chronic myelomonocytic leukemia, or oligoblastic leukemia to receive azacitidine monotherapy or azacitidine combined with a NED8 activating enzyme inhibitor, inhibitor pavanetostat. In that study, uh, the primary endpoint was event-free survival, but we also looked at overall survival. This was based on a previous trial, a phase two randomized trial, where we had shown a significant improvement in event-free survival for patients with higher risk myelodysplastic syndromes who received the combination of azacitidine and pebinetostat versus azacitidine alone. In the phase three trial, groups were relatively well balanced for baseline characteristics. We found that there was no difference in event-free survival in the intention to treat population or in the higher risk myelodysplastic syndrome population that was statistically significant. When we looked at overall survival in the higher risk MDS population, we did find a trend towards a significant improvement in overall survival of approximately four months. That difference in overall survival between those patients who received azacitidine and pevanetostat versus azacitidine monotherapy was exactly the same as what we had seen in the previous trial. So our conclusions from this study, unfortunately, it did not reach its primary endpoint of showing an improved event-free survival for the combination versus azacitidine monotherapy. I think what we need to do as people who treat patients with myelodysplastic syndromes is design clinical trials that are adequately powered to show a difference in median overall survival of four months and take those incremental benefits and build on them in future studies.